Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. I was confused. Thanks to Damien for the heads up. He was he texted me and said, are you going live? Because something weird is going on. So um, the 24 hour thing, that was just uh, an accident there. So thank you to Damien for doing that. And Heather, I just wanted to thank you again for sending all the mosses and liverworts. And I've got some really fun stuff growing in there. It's exciting. So. I'm enjoying it. Um, someone was over here the other day and they're like, oh, those are some cool things you got going on here. And I said, oh yeah, Heather, she's the one who did it. She's the one who sent them to me. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, Aunt Scotland's also in the house. We got Heather and Damien and Aunt Scotland. Oh, and some other people are popping up too. Uh, I thought I'd start out with some isopod updates. Hey, tropical exotics in the house as well. Um, I wanted to show you first of all these. This is my Porcelio Magnificus enclosure. And um, they've just started to breed. I think I've mentioned that, maybe shown it in one of my live streams before. I want to make sure I'm not tossing any isopods out here. Um, and we're just going to take a look and see if we can see any of the monkey. Um, wow, everybody's kind of hiding today, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll find them. There's an exo or a molting, molting one. Oh no, that doesn't look good. I don't want to disturb that one any more than I already have. Um, but here's some. Check it out. There's a male right here. Not fully grown yet. Whoa! Just plopped right off my hand. Let's take a look at the baby, shall we? Uh, let's see if we can get a close-up. Can we? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off of the stand, the tripod, and see if that helps. We'll get down into the, the stuff here. Find some babies. I see some springtails. There's there's a male. Oh, there's some babies right there. Check it out. Quite a few, in fact. Lots of babies. I think there are at least two clutches in here. And they're they're recent. Recent clutches. I, I hadn't had any reproduction for a while. And now I'm getting quite a lot. So sweet. Tiny orange little. Porcelia Magnificus. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm catching up on the chat now. Scott. Scott H. Howdy. And Mickey M. Glad you were able to catch this one earlier. This time in... Uh, so you don't miss... Uh, last time you just caught the tail end of it, which I was glad that you caught it, but now you can catch more, hopefully. Infantry Veteran, howdy. Vocal Pigeon, hey, yeah. Uh, and Scotland, 12.30 a.m., wow. Well, I admire your dedication for staying awake for, the, for this live stream uh, and joining us. Evan, Evan, it's going well. I'm pretty excited. And the Zombie Drummer, Aquatic Insect, what's your opinion about the recent USA jurisdiction on isopods? Well, you know what? This is a funny thing. I've been doing some research on that. I found a document from 2003 that clearly indicates that isopods need to be permitted in order to be transmitted uh, between states. So it's not so much that, uh, there's some more over here, check it out in the top left corner. Got a couple more kicking around in there. There, there must be a lot in, oh wow. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I wonder how many we've got in here. I was just thinking they were congregating in the moist area, but. We've got a ton of little baby monkey. Um, it's too bad their parents are so shy. They, they took off really fast. Anybody on this? Magnolia pod? Let's see. Um, basically, so it's not new. It's just that it's, it's on the radar, radar now, I guess. And I now have um, a permit for most, most armadillidium and uh, porcelio. But I'm course I would love it if we didn't have to have permits that would be awesome that that's my honest opinion is that why do we have to have them I don't think they represent a particular threat to agriculture in almost all cases but I also respect the need to follow the rules so I have a permit for those and I have submitted my request for some permitting on additional ones Anna hey welcome uh, okay so Heather from my Understanding, you do need to, to have to have them at all in to sell them at all in state, 
or out of state, doesn't matter. You need a permit. To buy them in state, you don't necessarily need one. That's my understanding. Mm. And Evan, Porcelion and Jace Pruinosis will eat tarantula molts. That is uh, not too surprising. It's cool, but it's not too surprising because I have found out... Is that one playing dead or is that a... What is that, a molt? Is it a dead one? Oh, that's not exciting. Um, they will eat almost anything. They're crazy. And aquatic insect. Thank you. I'm glad you're loving the channel. And Jason Ashby from Canada's West Coast. Awesome. We used to be kind of neighbors because I lived in uh, extreme northwestern Washington state, so it wasn't too far off. Narcisse from France. That's awesome. And there's Nosy06. Hey. So, Jason Ashby. Two mice in a natural terrain with many different isopods you found in your yard. That is so cool. How's that going? How long has it been going? Is it buffering a lot, Chevy Fish? Sorry about that. Um, Aaron Fuller, welcome. Damien's got Cubas Panda King arriving tomorrow. That's awesome. Hey, you know what we ought to do, Damien, sometime? If you'd be up to it. Uh, if I could, we could do a collaboration video and I could come visit Nocturnal Exotics and I could check out your isopod collections. Stuff like that. That'd be pretty fun, don't you think? Boca Pigeon from Ireland. Nice. We've got people from all over the place. I'm going to look over in this corner here just a little bit. See if there are more babies because there were so many over there. Oh, I see some. There's some babies kicking around in there. There's one right in the middle of the screen right now. See that? Um, and Western Washington. Greg, so you are in my former stomping grounds. That's awesome. I've still got uh, family up there. My sister and her family are up there, so I'm gonna switch out isopods, get some new ones, because that was fun seeing the Porcelli Magnificus. I was Magnificus. I was excited to see so many uh, babies. I didn't expect that many. I knew there were a lot of babies in there, but uh, and let's see what we got now. Um, I got some isopods a while back, and they seem to have drowned in my pet's water bowl. I'm not sure how to prevent that from happening again. So you had powder oranges. Interesting. I, I've noticed certain different isopods, certain isopods seem to be more prone to that. And it might just be a question of finding a, a species that's not. Oh, oh, it's freezing on me. Holy cow. Are we frozen? Uh-oh. Are we just dead? Are we dead in the water? I'm not seeing anything. I wanted to show you guys. Um, so, some of you are saying frozen, some not frozen. It's frozen for me. What are you guys seeing on the screen right now? We'll figure this out. Dang it. So, okay. You guys are seeing an empty piece of bark? Shoot. Then it, yeah, then it's frozen for some people, at least. Um, that is a good question, uh, Aaron Fuller. I'm, I'm kind of wondering. Um, okay, everybody, I'm going to start again, because this, this is crummy. I'm sorry that this is happening. Let's just start again, okay? Um, so join me right, right away. I'm going to start over.